Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and do another example problem here. So I'm going to do A right now, and then I'm going to call this question number one. I'd like you to do that in your um, form that you're filling out. Solve for the midpoint coordinates of the midpoint and put that into the computer. And then I'll go ahead and do this one, finding the length of PQ. So we'll start with this. So GH, I'm going to draw G. There's GH. And they'd like us to find the coordinates of the midpoint. So the midpoint's going to be about there. So I'm going to, G is at 7 comma negative 2. H is negative 5 comma negative 6. So I'm going to go ahead and write the midpoint formula here down. That's going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2, which is the average of the x values plus the average of the y values. And so average of the x values, we have 7 plus a negative 5 divided by 2, comma, negative 2 plus negative 6 divided by 2. 7 plus negative 5 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And that gives us negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8, divided by 2 is negative 4. So there's the coordinates of the midpoint. Let's go ahead and put that comma where it really belongs. Down here. That's better. So there's the coordinates of the midpoint. Now I'll move over into the distance formula. So they say, what is the approximate length of PQ? So they first we'll draw PQ. There's P, Q, and the coordinates length of PQ when with endpoints of P two comma five. And negative 4, comma 8 for Q. So now we need the distance formula. Distance is equal to the square root, the difference of the x values, x2 minus x1 squared, plus the difference of the y values squared. So now that we have our distance formula, we can substitute it in. Remember, ordered pairs, x, comma, y. So if I call this point 2 over here and this point 1, I can go 2 minus negative 4 squared. That's my difference in my x values plus 5 minus 8, difference in my y values. Making sure you do it in the same order. And I labeled this point 2 and that label point 1 so I can keep them straight. So I don't like subtracting negative numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to plus the opposite. Opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. And plus the opposite of positive 8 is negative 8. So I'm going to add negative integers instead. So that gives me 2 plus positive 4 is 6 squared. Plus 5 plus negative is negative 3 squared, which is 36 plus 9, or the square root of 45. I will go ahead and take this one step forward farther. This simplifies the square root of 9 times 5. And the square root of 9 is 3, so it gives me 3 radical 5. Now, you could have hit square root of 5 on your 45 on your calculator and gotten a decimal equivalent. Um, either one would be appropriate right now. Um, that's the conclusion of this video. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.